हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीक थर्टी सेवन सो This week again, I have something relevant to my PhD. Uh, this was a nice a few months back. I think before I started my channel around uh, July or August 2018, there was a team from Singapore from NIE, that is the National Institute of Education in Singapore. It's like a subsidiary branch of NTU. Uh, if you might be following then NTU and NUS are one of the two of the top universities in our field of educational technologies, computer science and human computer interaction. So I think they are in the top 10 or top 20 in the world. And this subsidiary of NTU, Nanyang Technological University called NIE, they had a team of researchers who were working in the similar field and there was another person who also was involved with the Singapore Ministry of Education who generally finance all these kind of innovative projects and just like your European research project, this was like a multidisciplinary project, multicultural project. And they wanted to collaborate with our team in the Welton Institute in Open University in Netherlands uh, to have some collaborations. And as you know, I have mentioned it many times before, two of my professors, one of them half of the time is in TU Delft, half of the time in my university and another professor half of the time is in Germany in Frankfurt and half of the time here. So we have a lot of these networks which are small clusters and it helps a lot you might feel overwhelming in the beginning but it helps you to uh, build a contact with these people and it will help you later in your research when you want to promote yourself in academics or R&D or whatever. So they visited us and few days back we were discussing like I am not directly involved because as a PhD you cannot write proposals you have to focus on your PhD you cannot write this European or research grant proposals which are normally at the end of your PhD or if you want to extend it to a postdoc but we discussed with them like uh, so it was like one of my promoters or professors he was involved with them indirectly to support a proposal joint proposal where expertise from different fields will be needed like some expertise from two three PhDs here some from TU Delft and some from Frankfurt and mostly people will be from the team from Singapore. So it was a nice opportunity to come together and contribute each other to build our research in the similar field of uh, developing innovative technologies for classroom education. They already wrote a proposal for it and they were expecting like maybe in a month or two months we'll hear the result of that proposal what is going to happen whether it will be accepted or not and if it is accepted then the advantage is that some of my experiments depending on the progress of my research prototype can be tested in the classroom of Singapore or maybe I can visit there for a week or two weeks like a research fellow visit and advance my research of my PhD and help them out so it will be like a win-win situation for both of us that they will benefit from the expertise that I or we have here and we can also meet other people, network and advance our research. So I was very happy that this is a good step forward, like to collaborate with Singapore and such good universities and to get exposure from their research style methods, because you know, like the research methods and the way of operation and the design and style, everything varies from university to university and also from country to country depending on the policy and there are n different factors which affect it. So I hope you like this video and if you understand the importance of collaboration then smash the like button and it's free. <laughs> so subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. I'm Sambit. I do these videos on studying and living in the Netherlands and also about PhD in the Netherlands via these weekly vlogs. Also check my playlist on the weekly vlogs. I hope you like this video and sh don't forget to share among your friends. Always share the information and knowledge you have. It will help to make a better society in the upcoming years. So till then, till week 38, peace off.